boom, live and direct. Back in the tubing again. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like that tubing stuff. Makes me feel alive in a way, and it gives me a uh, gives me good vibration. It allows me to uh, stay focused, stay focused a lot. That GoPro has been a great tool for me to not fall into depression because of pain. Too, it's a painkiller. Most of it, it's a painkiller because if I don't give myself tools or lever that I can pull to stay focused while I'm in pain, I'll end up in a depression. <laughs> That's for sure. I'll end up a, a, a zombified drone and uh, with no direction in Babylon. So I got the choice. You know, we all have the choice. We all have. Uh, free will free choices uh, every and according to the choices we make along our life that's where you end up today you end up where you are today is a result of your choice not mine <laughs> so it's uh, according to the choice you make in life you will have different experience so do the right choice anyway at one point it's to move out also the the realm of negativity, no? just the realm and the zombified. There are so much people they're getting, and they're zombifying their children too. It's a, and I get this, I get, I have this happening not too far from me. No? Sometimes it's a, it's like a twilight zone no? for. Sometimes I feel it in a twilight zone very often. Feel in a twilight zone very often due to a, a nonsense that I have around me. No? For sure, it's. A, I have to balance, I have to balance and because that's what happens once you start seeing the bigger picture and you have people around you that's still very comfortably numb, comfortably numb, it's a bit, it's like twilight zone, it's like twilight zone, it's like uh, what's going on, why is people not waking up, waking up to their greatness, starting, stop wasting their precious time and their whole life goes by and then they teach that to their children also. They're not only going to do it for themselves, the spiritual suicide, they will do it for their children too. Yeah. And gladly do it. Gladly performing the, the, the rituals on their children. And be and they're very comfortable with that because they don't want their children to have more than they had, probably, subconsciously. Much parents, more... Probably, uh, parents are very hypocrite. Very hypocrite very hypocrite because they, they're not gonna want you to, to succeed or uh, stuff like that because they're afraid they're not gonna, gonna call back if you become too successful or if you start living your dream or they, they're thinking you're not gonna call back and or shit like that so they, they not too many people will, uh, they will try to discourage you more than anything and that's what happened to me a lot every day every day I'm faced with discouragement coming from people for sure either because I listen to what people do not say not because people talk a lot and come and discourage me but I listen to what they do not say and that says a lot to me that says a lot to me it says more than when people talk you know listen to what people do not say that says a lot on a person on the yeah yeah that's what I do and I don't expect anything from people it's not because i have expectation and uh, my uh, expectations are very high towards people it's not that at all just let it be let it be but you know sometimes it's hard to just let it be also it's hard to say okay uh, people are zombified and let let it be <laughs> Like you want to do something to inspire them, to help them, and you know, it's, I came here on this earth uh, for a purpose, purpose that I have to become, and I'm becoming that purpose more and more, more and more by seeking uh, inside of myself more than anything. Yeah, because I don't look on the outside for uh, explanation or. Uh, other than connecting with people and making that Truman show, no? I'm very much on the inside and very solidary and um, comfortable with that. I've learned to appreciate, appreciate love my own presence because I am present. But before I wasn't really present in life, 
with life so I could not sense my presence I don't know if you know what I mean but once you become present with life present in the moment you can sense your present your awareness you can sense all the yeah the awareness the consciousness all that stuff it's stuff you can sense because uh, okay maybe not you cannot uh, but you can feel it stuff you feel you know our feelings are very important your emotions are not to uh, are very important also and that's why they they manipulate our emotions with all kinds of stuff with the the news and uh, they want us all on the same emotion uh, thing clear to me especially with the recent uh, hurricane stuff look. that and we cannot forget also that to pass those things on TV is very lucrative for certain uh, people that creates a lot of attention people poor especially people sometimes they don't watch the news but they will go on the news just to watch that nonsense just to watch the, the people in fear and the natural disaster happening and you know when they inflate also the the, the phenomenon you know they, they make it sound worse than it is for you to be in fear I'm not saying it's not bad it's I saw uh, stuff very uh, frightening like when the sea was gone completely from the I think it's in the Long Island by a mouse the, the, the sea was completely gone like where's the sea where's the ocean wait when it come back I don't think it will come back with a slow wave but you know so that's for sure and it's a uh, fear fear uh, collection also fear uh, propaganda important for them that we're stuck in that fear we're stuck in that uh, low vibration uh, world and just for ourselves and never opening our heart just for ourselves uh, some people think also that you know that the dream of life is happening with the material stuff a lot of people are stuck into it into materialism consumerism and they think that this is the dream life you know it's Maybe there, maybe that's their dream life to accumulate a Ferrari or a big house or... But I don't think that's where you can hold the real joy with the material things. I think material things are there to scare you more than anything. It's there to scare you because you're going to be scared of losing it. Losing your stuff, losing your... But I have nothing to lose. All I have is life. All I have is life and that's what I have to lose. The only thing I can lose is life. Because that's... And the only thing I am attached to is life. The rest, I have no attachment to uh, to any... Uh, to anything. No attachment is the best. No attachment and... Uh, you know? That's the way I see it. Much better. I'll be back.